That was freshly work sharps. Look at that. that was, I'm gonna do that again. Wow. Whew. Look at what we got here. You guys remember the prey bait, right? <laughs> Sorry, Jason. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that before. You guys don't know who I'm talking to right now, but one point seven eight seven. One point seven prey baits. They're headless. And where the head should go, a jig goes. Isn't that beautiful? And something extra cool. We have the maker of these molds with us right now. What's up? This is Jason from Epic Bait Molds, all the way from Alabama. And look at these. Uh, <laughs> that's hard to explain on the spot, but you've never seen this in a mold before. Basically one color comes in on the top, one on the bottom, then they go in these mixing chambers and then they fill the bait. Plastic comes in from one side and plastic comes in from the other side, twists it a little bit, and then shoots it into the bait for laminations. That's what that's for. I'll sh I wanna show you this way. You'll see. Okay, so when you shoot this thing, you don't wanna shoot super hot or super fast because there's such a little connection between the main sprue and these little mixing gates that the baits as they harden can't pull a lot from the main sprue. So they, when they harden, they actually they'll suck from this little pocket here and dimple that pocket and the bait will stay full. So if you shoot really hot, it's gonna harden and shrink more. So you wanna shoot a little cooler so there's not as much shrinkage in the bait. And then also if you shoot really fast and really hot, you're gonna get more of a swirl in this chamber. So you wanna shoot a little cooler, a little slower so that the one color stays on the top, the other color stays on the bottom and they kinda just glide together into that bait cavity. Otherwise it'll do more of a mix, but we'll, maybe we'll do that and show you guys what the results are of that. Yeah, I was at the uh, some backwater spot on the river. Channel cat that just porpoises out of the water. Porpoise. That is mahogany. Very nice color. And this is like a sparkly blue. Brown top, blue belly. This will probably be the most natural looking bait that we make today. The pond we're going to has exceptionally clear water. You might remember, it's Kevin's, and there's Wiper. Jason will have the honors of shooting the first 1.7 inch headless laminated epic prey bait in this shop. <laughs> the back is the side without the little groove on it. So the belly is the side with the mold cracker guy on it. Okay. The belly's the side without the air vents. We figured it out. This is 338. That's three. 45. Dang it. We are professionals, but we are having issues getting the <laughs> temperatures correct. <laughs> 337, 338. Perfect. Let's do it. Okay. Does that even go? Didn't even feel it move. <laughs> They're small baits. Yeah, it's in there. Yep. It's in there. Perfect split too. Nice. Blue on that side, brown on that side. Here we go. Actually, you shot it. Okay. <laughs> what am I doing? Let's see if I shot it right. Oh my gosh. Nice. Look at that. Got the blue on the bottom. The, it's like a brown on the top. Beautiful. And then when you pull it out, that little rod's in the center there. Gotta pop that guy out. Cool. That's beautiful. That looks so good. That's gonna be a deadly bait. My lord. Okay, we got some new colors. I went with Green Envy, that's the green color. And that's pretty much just school bus yellow with very, very small silver flake in it. It's almost uh, Packers colors. Almost. Just saying. Yeah, I'm flip. No, that way. This is back. Top. Yeah. I felt it go down. I, yeah, I saw it go down in yours. I think I was just a little giddy. Okay. I guess I'll let you guys see this first. I thought for a second that that didn't shoot even, but these colors are just blending into each other really nicely. Ooh. And as you can see, the sprues, they dent first before the body, like Jason was saying. One did it right there. They did. It just, they yeah. blend so well. Yeah. Like you said. It's Literally. actually cool because the green hits the back of that freaking tail too. Yeah. That tail fan. Beautiful. Oh, man. Isn't that the coolest sprue in the world? Weird. 
We tried something weird. You know how this mold usually has this plate separating the colors. It divides the colors and then they go into the correct ports and then injects the bait. We took it out just to see if it would work. We're experimenting. Ouch. Just demolished my knuckle on this vice when I... <laughs> Whoops. I think that worked. It still worked. These aren't the these aren't good colors to test something like this with. They're they're very kind of similar, but it's much darker green on the top, and wow. it's much more yellow on the bottom. Still, it's not as good. Yeah, it's definitely not as definitive, but it still works. So if you want a ton of blending from one color on the top to another on the bottom, but you want it all blended, just take the plate out because that's exactly what that just did. So after just three injections, we have this box full of baits, which is nice. There's a lot of cavities in this mold. We're starting to do that with the Epic Bait Molds Marling Baits collaboration molds. Multiple cavities. You guys seem to want that, so there you go. We got enough baits. We got to run the fleet farm real quick. I need some line on my pole. We're going to go get after them. Wiper. Yeah. Today is a good day. Look at this. Kevin's letting me fish his pond again. I'm happy. Let's get some on the 1.7 inch prey bait. Jason's got the flashy one on. I went with natural. Just got these on an eighth ounce jig head so far. I'll probably switch it up a bit. I'm gonna go catch the first fish. Oh. <laughs> first cast. Oh my goodness, this bait runs so good. It's small. It's it's Deceivingly small, but the action is just thumping. And just like that, I have a very, I think this is a very good fish. Jason's yelling at me asking if I have one, and yes, I, I do. Wet my hand a bit. Before I handle this fish. These are young wiper. That was second cast. Second cast and we got a beautiful wiper. I love this pond. It's official. Wiper like two inch headless prey baits. Beautiful. Let's keep moving down. It's official. And just like that, it's official again. That was on the fall. Oh, these fish are so fun to catch. Trying not to handle these fish too much since they're so young still. Pretty much keep them in the water the whole time. Kevin told me to do that. It's good for a, it's good for a young population of wiper not to experience too much handling. That way when they get older, they're uh, still feisty, you know? They got that wiper feistiness still. That's two, Jason. Are these guys more like surface feeders or deep down? That second one, I just didn't even reel. I just cast it and let it fall and it, Seriously? It. Yeah, but Almost? it was probably about halfway down. So good in the water. It does. There you are. On the fall, once again. Oh, and we got a largey. And it's official, largemouth. Like the 1.7 inch prey bait as well. Really official bait. Yeah, oh yeah, it's super calm over there. Yep, sunny. Oh, there we go. There we go. They got a nice fight to them. Yeah, a lot of kick. Yeah, I like that. Just look at that. First nice. fish, finally. It's not bad. That's a fat one. Yeah, it is. Come on. Yeah, that's solid. Wow. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Trying to be gentle with you. First wiper of the trip. Not a bad fish. Look at him. Later. New pond. 
It was going good at that other spot, but we didn't want to pound those fish too hard. Those wiper are young, like I was saying. So new spot, new pond. Let's see what we can pull out of here. See if I get some swimming action on this. That looks so good. There's a lot of crappie in here too. Look at that, on the fall. I think this is a good crappie. Getting those species, third species. It's official. Oh man, big beefy crappie. Like the two inch, sorry, the 1.7. I keep on calling it a two inch. The 1.7 headless prey bait. Beautiful crappie. There you keep them. Yeah, we'll see if we catch a lot. If I catch another, I'll keep it. Jake. Oh, did you? We're on a boat. We'll give it a little bit longer. <laughs> Wouldn't that be beautiful if it was springtime crappie spawn right now? We got these baits. I think that would be murderous. There we go. That is not a small crappie. Woo! Killer crappie bait, it's official. How big is that thing? 12? I don't know, Jason, should I keep them? <laughs> I don't think we have too much longer here. Nah, be free. It's day two. Got the two inchers, sorry, not two. Got the 1.7 inch prey baits. We got some plans going today. Uh, we're gonna catch fish. I have a bucket with me. We're gonna try to keep fish. We're gonna try to get some meat. We're gonna try to have a fish fry tonight. And if nothing else, we're just gonna try to catch fish more today. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I was driving by on the bridge, I saw you got a bass. Yeah, got two over there. Really? Okay. Uh, the prey bait. Got the three inches now. Jason's here too from Epic Bait Molds. Is he? Yeah. That's awesome. He's fishing here for two years. Two years. I saw your video that saw the bridge and was like, he's at my spot. Hey. He's at my spot. No. He's going to blow it up, that bastard. over to the other side. Okay. Yeah, you too. Yellow brown. Yellow brown. Look at this. Ooh. That flash. I like that. Tree spot looks good. Got one. Oh yeah. Not a big one, but there it is, guys. The uh, three inch prey bait, little underspin blade from Fish Head to give a little extra action, and there it is. Thanks for letting me catch you. The flash really helped. I know this kind of kind of looks weird because there's like two heads on the bait, but honestly, that flash really can draw them in in this like little bit more murky water, and it just worked awesome. That was a crappie. I mean, shoot, that was a crappie. <laughs> you got some? Is that on an ice jig? Yeah. It's crazy. Oh. That just popped up. That's on the 1.25 ice bike? Yeah. Crazy. I, I love it. <laughs> nice work, man. Holy cow. Oh, got something. Oh, it's nice. 
It ain't bad. Come here, come here. Nice large mouth. Check that out. There's the uh, eighth ounce jig, jig head. And there it is, 1.7 inch prey bait, getting it done. Not a bad fish. It's, uh, this pond goes like, douche, off the bank and then level and then poof, and off the bank level. So you gotta get past all those steps, but I'm gonna make my way around the pond this way though, back to Nick and just check everything. Yeah, that's true, that's true. <laughs> oh, I think I just hooked a fish. You got one? What? I just hooked a fish. Were you just FaceTiming? I'm FaceTiming and I just hooked a fish. <laughs> Yeah, you can come FaceTime too. <laughs> it's a bass. You better step oh. up over here. <laughs> Look, show fin. Like fin? It's a I think I just hooked a fish. <laughs> Crappie. Thanks, buddy. Let me unhook him. I just had to call you for good luck. Oh, put you on the bike bait back out it's official again I might actually eat tonight <laughs> not a bad one here see look Finn check it out buddy all right say bye bye <laughs> later wow what are the chances of that what's crazy is it's all on camera too does Amanda know I caught one Wait, you just caught one? I just caught a crappie. You just caught a crappie? Yeah, a good one. Look at this. Oh, he just caught a crappie. Yeah. Oh. I didn't even see. Was it right before I caught mine? Right after you caught yours. Yeah. Right after? Yeah. That is not a bad one. That's huge. <laughs> That's a nice one. Dude, that is so Supper. She's yeah. like, good luck. She calls and everyone catches fish. <laughs> <laughs> woo, woo. Fish on! Yep, another crappie. There you go. That was a huge bend in that rod. <laughs> yeah. Good one. No, I'm good. Come on over though. I just got another. Yeah, another Carpino. Woo! Double! Fishes! <laughs> <laughs> We're touched fishes. <laughs> Come on over here, Nate. Don't be afraid. What? Come on over here, Nate. Don't be afraid. <laughs> there you go. Nick hook it up. Crappy, I see it. Yeah, it is. That is all that's in this pond is good ones. <laughs> Whoo, he ran at me. Had to catch up. Bruh, calm down. <laughs> It's getting kind of official, fellas. <laughs> what if we saw your catfish pole slapping right now? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Boop! <laughs> That's definitely through his eyeball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh! Oh, I, he almost got away. Oh! <laughs> that felt really good. Come here, buddy. Come here. That was like Bill Dance style. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I almost broke my back. These things are insane. Dude, I can't think of a better way to launch this bait than to- I can't either. To show what the, how good it is. I like that you said that's Bill Dance style. He's the best. Hook sets, falls off his boat. His boat like goes off a jump and starts a fire. It just doesn't stop. This line, four pound line is about 17 feet of stretch in it. Heck yeah, brother. Hey, no joke, this is the most crappies I've seen come out of here. Really? Yeah. Most crappies. 
They're they're big too. They're all like they're slab daddies. Even the bluegills, I've never caught one small in my hand. Crazy. Look at that. Jeez. Hey, did you do the it's official for the crappie yet? Oh yeah, it's got real official. And we even touched fishes. <laughs> oh, I should have counted. It's at least a dozen, I think. Shoulder to shoulder. <laughs> yeah. A five acre pond we're shoulder to shoulder. <laughs> oh double. We get double, triple. I've never seen a quadruple. There's a schlobber nozzle. What? Way out there on the top like that? I didn't reel it once. That's way in there. Yeah, these are worth piling up right now. Uh-oh. I had one. They eat it too well. Oh, I was like, I didn't touch, I wasn't touching your butt. Oh. <laughs> one of them cray baits. Yeah. That's a full bucket. That might be the longest one. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, that's a good one. We might have 20. Oh my. <laughs> my legs are sore from doing that every time I catch a fish. Yeah, somebody else can take that spot if they want it. This is not Samurai Braid. I do not endorse that garbage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna run and get your pole, Jason. What? I'm gonna run and get your catfish pole for you. Oh, awesome, okay. Anyways, these crappies are floppy. Yeah. Lots of crappies. <laughs> 21. 21 crappies. I caught most of them. Right, guys? Yeah. <laughs> the ice season, ice season's coming up. We talked about some ice baits together. We're also gonna be doing our own ice. Jason's live right now on Instagram, but we took the knife to those fish and we got a lot of meat now. cool, it's like a little flower. I'll get back to you guys when we're frying. Designated for out here in the shop. I like that. We got the propane hooked up to the fryer. Oil's getting hot. I'm getting hungry. Here we go guys. Uh, grease probably needs to be a little warmer. Uh -oh. All right. But it's good. Turn it up. Heat it up. It's live. The pressure is immense. <laughs> yeah. We need some studio lights over here. Uh -huh. Oh, these are fresh too. And cold. Okay. The fish is out of the grease. It just needs to cool off. It needs to be salted. Cooled off. They are testers. And it's going in my mouth. I just ate some fish um, without turning on the camera. It's very clean. It's cold. It's amazing. It's not fatty. It's not gamey at all. Wow. Athletic fish. Yes. When the water cools off, fish always taste better. You know that. But it just gets me excited. Oh, and we're trying out a different technique. We're doing we an egg wash. Egg wash. Same batter. Same batter, but egg washed. That meat is clean, Nick. Like, it's just like ice fish. It, it, it vibrates. Yeah, it vibrates. It's insane. So, um, yeah, that's the video. With the jig head and everything, it's Wednesday's next video coming out. <clears throat> yeah, I've been on turbo mode recently. A lot of videos, so. I'll, I'll edit it, I'll get it done, I'll get it out, don't worry. <laughs> a little darker. Uh, which I actually found dead on the side of a phone. We didn't get anything though. Um, if we're trying to get bait for other things or whatever, but usually it's egg wash gives it a bit more of a bready flavor. Bready flavor, I would say. It's a tie. I can't tell. Egg wash, just as good as the other. That's good. I think that's the best way I've ever ended a video. We got bellies full of crappie, waffle fries. They're pretty much gone. I saved some for Chels. I'm not a mean husband at all. <laughs>
<laughs> we got some for Chelsea, don't worry, honey. Uh, thank you, Jason from Epic Bait Molds for coming down. He made the flight. He spent the time, a few days here, two days here. Yep. It was amazing. Thank you, Jason. Thank you. It was an awesome time. I, I enjoyed hanging out with you and everyone else. That might have been the fastest two days of my life. I just flew by. We did a lot. Talked a lot. Designed a bit. Thought about the future. Marling Bates, Epic Bait Molds, collaboration stuff. It's looking good. It's looking bright. Jason's one of the hardest working people I've ever met. And it was just nice to meet in person, hang out, catch a buttload of fish, eat them. Especially for this time of the year, getting all those crappie. Did not expect that at all. But the man, the bait designer, the legend is gone. He's probably back home in Alabama. He'll be back. Or I might go down there. Nobody knows what the future holds. Thanks again, Jason. Thanks Epic Bait Molds and Amanda and their little finny too. <laughs> that bait? I don't know. There's nothing to say about it after that. Like, there you go. That's the bait. <laughs> That's an insane bait. I think the price range, it's a 10 cavity mold. I think the price range is gonna be somewhere between 200 and 250 for that mold. You can pop a lot of baits out of that mold. A lot of, a lot of little cavities in one mold, so a bit more expensive for that one, but it's a stunner. It's a kicker. Um, the action, I hope I described it right in the video. I probably didn't. The action, it's, it's not a wide smack, 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 smack kick. It's a vibration. It's, a, it's not a belly roll, but it's a roll on the tail, and it's really tight, fast, cold water, fish enticing action. I think that's why it works so good for what we were using it for. Just so many baits for so many different applications and you gotta cover them all, you know? One at a time, you gotta cover them all. It just gets the gears grinding, the wheels spinning. Very high RPM, very fun though. Very fun to design these. I don't know why I feel like I keep, I keep needing to say thank you, my heater just kicked on, so. Better end this video. Video's over. On to the next bait. Today is a good day. Freshly work sharp. I like that. Alabama. That's hard to explain on the spot, but they're, they're big. We're experimenting. Fish on.